Well, 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 this is a big surprise. The men have been battered, the men have been ridiculed, but the men, the Jamaican men, are stepping up. Look who's back. Johan Blake has come back on the scene and is leading the Jamaican men off to the finals of the 4x100 meters. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle. The Jamaican 4x100 meter males team will get the opportunity to defend their Olympic gold medal in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. But before we get into the details, we see that you have been watching and liking our videos. We also want you to be part of the Sports DTM family by clicking that subscription button. If that button is still red, it simply means you know subscribe it. So wait a wait and just click the button and welcome to the Sports DTM family. Analyst, Jamaica finished first in each one of the 4x100 meters and enters the final with the fastest time. Surprising to many, Jamaica passes the button well and finished in first place in a time of 37.82 seconds. The fastest time analyst the surprise of the eats were south africa who came into the championship with a very good team did not finish and the americans who were overwhelming favorites did not advance after finishing sixth in their eats but johan blake who didn't show up in the 200 meters because of injuries concerns did show up and ran excellently on the third leg. Analyst, talk to me about Jamaica's performance and their chances of winning this gold medal. It would be their third or the fourth time they would be crossing the line first. US out, South Africa out, Jamaica now overwhelming favorite. Analyst, talk to me. This might come as a surprise to some, but despite the drought that Jamaica is currently experiencing with regards to male sprinting, we still have the ability to put together four men that can be world beaters. Four men that, though they are not ru running sub 10 times, they are running low 10 times, and that can still be better than most or majority of the teams that are currently in the finals it's going to be very sticky because we have to execute this race perfectly in order to win and if we do execute the button changes perfectly then i predict a gold medal for the jamaican men in this relay finals well 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 this is a big surprise the men have been battered, the men have been ridiculed, but the men, the Jamaican men, are stepping up. Look who's back. Johan Blake has come back on the scene and is leading the Jamaican men off to the finals of the 4x100 meters with the fastest time of 37.82 seconds. Who could have imagined this? They are looking good. The quartet of Blake, Fort, Minzy and Seville had time to have fun, looked relaxed and this could be a big gold medal for the Jamaican team. Let's see what they will produce in the final. Yeah, the hits, uh, the hits keep on coming, the hits keep on coming. So when persons actually write off the men's printing program, you understand and for and for just reason if you ask me it's for and it's for just reason the men's relay team lead in time 
So they will get a preferred lane in the finals for the 4 by 100 And guess what? You understand? It's unfortunate for US, but a plus for us. US not qualified for the finals. Also, unfortunately, too, another favorite, South Africa, who dropped the button, did not qualify for the final as well. So a medal prospect and hope and our hopes of getting a medal in the 4x1 is even stronger. So when Blake said he's not leaving without a medal, I guess he knows what he was speaking of. Not an individual medal, but a relay medal. A medal nonetheless is on the cards for Jamaica. Great run, great run. So you, we're pretty much getting, getting it together. As I said, the men is on top now from a, from a 4x1 meter standpoint and leading the charge into the finals the fastest time into the finals did anybody see the run by Andre de Grasse? remember you know, Andre de Grasse run the 200 meters earlier and run 19.62 to claim goal and then turn around and anchor his team to get them to the finals run from far back far back you know to get them into the finals and I'm sure the US who finished six I mean, they rest most of their top guns. Some of the persons who are running the 200 meters, they could have actually run today, run in this in this race, but they chose to rest and then even qualify. The jock supposed that against Andre de Grasso, who ran and won gold, decided to run today again in the four by one to get his team to the final. There you have it, Sports DTM fans. Another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Jamaica's four by 100 meters men will line up in the finals running out of lane five after qualifying with the fastest time from eight one also in the final ghana will be running out of lane two germany out of lane three canada out of lane four jamaica out of lane five great britain out of lane six the people's republic of china out of lane seven italy out of lane eight and japan running out of lane nine fans out there we would love to hear from you by you leaving your comments in the comment section below what's your thoughts on jamaica's performance as well as your prediction on how well they will do in the finals leave all those comments in the comment section below and always remember to like to share and to subscribe and to tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend tell all of them friends to come and join the sports dtm family this has been another episode of sports down the middle be blessed